Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Dalton at Dalton 95 which is another Transformers Legacy video, and today we're taking a look at the second two-pack from the Doom and Destruction Collection, or I guess this is a three-pack, even though the other one was technically a four-pack. This is the Deluxe Insecticons, Chop Shop and Barrage, and Wrecker Malleus Minotaurus. So, there they are. We'll be getting into some info about him. Of course, you know, retool of well, they're both Bombshell and Shrapnel, even though they both come from the Shrapnel base mold. There is Malleus Minotaurus with the Mayhem Octopunch symbol. You got Chop Shop, 11 steps, 6 steps for Malleus Minotaurus, and 10 steps for Barrage. And speaking of them, there they are. Again, if you could translate that, whatever it says there, it'd be really awesome. And yeah, so let's go ahead and get these guys opened up and check them out. And here we have Barrage, Chop Shop, and Malleus Minotaurus out of the packaging. We'll go over him in a minute because he's kind of an accessory. But we'll focus on these two since, I mean, it's most of the focus. Starting with Barrage, I mean, they're both technically retools of Shrapnel. Even though this one's more on the bombshell side, so bringing in... Bombshell, you can see what they've changed. So essentially, they just rotated the waist 180 degrees, as well as switched the arms around. Actually, I don't, I don't even think they, yeah, they did switch the arms around here at the joint. Not even. Okay, they fully rotated the arms around, so they just swapped the mushroom pegs around to do that so I mean that's not a difficult task but this joint here that was used for I guess the bottom jaw or I don't even know what this was for on bombshell but they used it for the uh the head joint on barrage so yeah yeah the only problem with this is is you get all these waffles here as well as the screws showing it's not too big of a deal but I would have preferred if they were able to swap these around I don't know it would just mean though the insect mode has these waffles as opposed to robot mode said maybe a third party company because it looks like you can take it apart here and then fill those gaps in so if someone could make some fillers for that I think that'd be perfectly fine I'm fine with the screws showing it's not that big of a deal because it's mostly just these two and yeah it's a little weird but Definitely not the end of the world with that. He is in this nice shade of green and kind of a greenish yellow. I'm getting very heavy, like, 7-Up or Sprite vibes off of him. You got that very interesting kind of Bandai-style head, which is, I believe, what those toys were based on was the Bandai uh, insect robots. I can't remember if it was Bandai or someone else that did those. But that's what the original Deluxe Insecticons were using was another I mean that's just how season one through or one and two Transformers were. They used toys from many different toy lines, conglomerated them to one toy line. So yeah Diaclone, Microman, Bandai, uh, I think the other one was Toy Box. There's so many others. Uh, but yeah, very Nicely done. Uh, as far as other paint goes, you got some of that yellow paint here on the shins. It is kind of bleeding through the green. I guess Hasbro still has not figured out how to do yellow paint. I uh, got some silver and red here on the very tip of the toes. Got some white here that'll be more prevalent in insect mode. Got some red here, Decepticon symbol. Of course, yellow and red on the head. Pretty much does it for paint in robot mode. You get some red here. And you do get... The Mayhem logo right there on the back of his leg. As far as accessories go, he comes with the same ones that Bombshell came with. So you get the two that become legs and the rifle. The instructions say just to put it together like this. So there you go. And then these legs come separate from uh, Barrage as well. So you have to install those and this is just how you do it. So. The one that curves this way, goes on the right arm, that way, left arm. So, there is 
garage, articulation, his head is on a swivel, just like Bombshell. I'll get to there and there due to his uh, horns, I guess. 360 at the shoulders, you get out to there, and then if you move the insect leg, you get all the way up. Uh, swivel at the bicep, a little over 90 at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. Got a tight waist swivel, forward all the way, back all the way, all the way out. Thigh swivel, just a little over 90 at the knee. You get a tight ankle tilt to there, and then a little up and down at the foot, not a lot up. Does point straight down due to transformation. So there is Garage. So moving on to Chop Shop, who is a slight retool of uh, shrapnel. So you get the new <coughs> uh, mandibles here, new head, and these new legs that just plug onto the arms. Still has the same three weapons ah. that shrapnel came with, and it tells you in the instructions to just combine them. Can't remember how it said to combine. Yeah, just like that. That looks dumb. As far as storing these, I just plug these onto the back of the shoulders. So at least they're out of the way like that. And give them this one to use as a standard weapon. So there is that. Very nice uh, shade of brown that they use here along with the orange, red, some of that white right here that unifies him and Barrage. Of course, got a Decepticon symbol there, and much like Barrage, except here it's on the side. Got the Mayhem logo, some kind of stickering detail with silver and black there on the side of the leg. You get some red here on the forearms. Very nice done, nicely done head sculpt there. Now, the other chop shop, the only other chop shop that I have is the Legends Class 1. I believe this is Combiner Wars. I can't remember if this was Combiner Wars or Titan's Return. But there is Chop Shop. And again, same kind of markings throughout. Got that detail there. So yeah, and pretty close colors. This is just a little bit more vibrant of a brown. I still really like that version of the head sculpt. Just more sharp and pointy. This is definitely more like the G1 toy. Articulation is the same as shrapnel, so you do get a head swivel. 360 at the shoulders. These mandibles do kind of get in the way. Get out to there. Bicep swivel. A little over 90 at the elbow, nothing at the wrist. It's the same arms, for the most part, as bombshell and barrage. Just different shoulders. Get a waist swivel. All the way forward, all the way back, all the way out. I swivel over 90, a little over 90 at the knee, just pretty much at 90. And then slight ankle tilt, little up and down, some more of that red paint there. So, waist down is exactly the same as Barrage and Bombshell and Shrapnel. Uh, I mean, of course, Shrapnel because it's just a slight retool. Anyways, arms down, exact, or shoulders down, biceps down is the same as. Uh, barrage and bombshell so there is those two now bring in Mal malleus minotaurus he is a i wouldn't even say a repaint just a recolor of smashdown from siege cast in gray and he does have the solus prime marking there on his head so that implies that either he's partnered with solus prime or he is her forge and with her being listed, I believe, in Wave 1 of the Prime line that's coming up. We should be seeing her very soon, and maybe she'll have her actual forge, or maybe he serves as that forge. As far as blast effects go, because all the Titan Masters came with them, came with his standard smashing down effect. And then a new one, not sure what this is supposed to represent, other than maybe the in-motion swinging of the hammer, but it does plug onto the back end. There's that, so maybe this is the initial swing down, and then you can swap it out for the impact. So, 
I don't know. Nice little thing they've done here. But we'll go ahead and transform him since he's super simple. So just untab these. Bring these sections down. These will form the legs. So just straighten that out. Rotate the head. And just bring the arms down. And there he is in robot mode. He's got this long tail that you can actually take off and give to him to use as a weapon. Just a little baton. He does have some blue there for the eyes and of course that little crest. But other than that, no paint. Head is on a ball joint. Get you a little expression. Arms are on just ball joints at the shoulders and legs are just ball joints at the hips. So not a lot you can do, but apparently Barrage and Chop Shop took him prisoner and Maybe this is where the whole beef with the Wreckers comes into play. And then apparently next year it's going to be a, a mixed bag of Wreckers and uh, Mayhem Attack Squad with uh, Iron Fist being part of that or Physitron. But anyways, focusing on these guys, we'll go ahead and get into transformation starting with Barrage. Just remove the weapon, fold in the hands, and bring this section up, open up the legs, point down the feet. These will just fold up on a double hinge. There really is, oh, there is a little slot right there and a little tab there on the leg. So this will just tab in. Just like that. The arms will tab together, or the legs will tab together, my bad. Bring these down. And there are a couple of tabs here that will just plug in to the thigh. You also want to rotate this up. And that will just tab right into there, just like that. Actually, this does just pretty much stay there. Just bring this up. That does help get it lined up, though. There we go. Bring that down. And there is Barrage in Rhinoceros Beetle mode. Or Hercules Beetle. It's one of the two. Then we just take these and plug them up on here. There's really no other place to plug these legs into, especially since he's got these new ones. But there he is in Rhinoceros Spiel mode. And just for comparison, we'll go ahead and bring in Bombshell. So you get more of an organic looking Rhinoceros Beetle. I mean, even though it's mostly robotic, but more balanced. And then here's just fully robotic rhinoceros beetle and they are meant to be the same insect a lot of people i've talked to say no he's supposed to be a weevil no he is and always was a rhinoceros beetle they've just you know this is fully robotic and then this one strikes more of a balance as far as the design so you got the eyes here you got the the horn top horn here even here you got the top horn horn and you know this is where the mouth parts would be Best thing, these are maybe the eyes right here. So, still a rhinoceros beetle through and through. So, here you get to see that white paint being used as striping along the side of the beetle. Got some of that red up there, some of the yellow showing here on the sides, Decepticon symbol there on the horn, and that Mayhem logo on the back there. So, there is. Barrage. And now on to Chop Shop. Again, just remove the weapon. Uh, actually, no. Yeah, these get removed as well. Now, in the instructions, it says to flip out these, but then that would give him eight legs as opposed to just the four. So I'm going to leave these as they are. Go ahead and pull down these pieces here. And bring the mandibles up. There we go. So open up these panels, rotate the waist around, of course point the toes, and fold up the legs, tabbing into place. Same thing on this side. There they are together. Go ahead and tab, or fold in the fists, then tab the arms into place. 
so there is that and then yeah just go ahead and plug these in with the weapon or the blast point facing back and i should have mentioned these are still blast effect compatible they're the same weapons there he is six legs go ahead and put the blaster up on top here so there he is in stag beetle mode and quick comparison with shrapnel so again you get a couple more legs to give it more of that realistic beetle look uh, same with the mandibles here just overall really good looking even though it's you know just a slight retool a couple new accessories they do enough with the paint and like i said the re newly molded parts to make them look different enough so there's that and then here he is with Legends class one from I still can't remember if it's Combiner Wars, Titans Return, or if this was Thrilling 30. I want to say maybe it was Combiner Wars. But there they are. Yeah, still really like this one, but yeah, this one's gonna be the one going on the shelf. Or this is still going on the shelf, probably gonna go on the IDW shelf. But we'll go ahead and bring in the other two deluxe in name Insecticons. I mean they're all deluxe class, but these three, soon to be four, whenever we get Venom. I can't remember if it's Wave 5 of Legacy United or if it's Wave 1 or 2 of the, the Prime line that's coming up. But, yeah, we've got three out of the four, so I wonder how they're going to do Venom, if he's going to be a retool of Kickback or if he's going to be a retool of Waspinator or just a whole new mold. It remains to be seen. Maybe they could retool it into CicadaCon to go with, uh, or not CicadaCon, to be DJ. To go with uh, Silverbolt or Skywarp, Skywarp, or uh, you know that two-pack with Sideswip. So who knows? But here they are, and then let's go ahead and bring in their standard Insecticon counterparts. Let's see the six of them all together here. Soon to be seven. Whenever we get Venom. So yeah, really happy to finally have these. I know I don't sound like it, you know, just, it's just the way my voice is. But yeah, glad to have these. So let's go ahead and get them both back into robot mode and we'll go over final thoughts. Let's go ahead and remove those, bring this out of the way. Extend the legs, pull those panels in. Hold out the toes, split the legs here on barrage, bring out the arms, hold out the hands, and then just collapse that horn onto his chest. Then we'll give him his blaster. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. So for chop shop, same thing, remove the blaster. Keep those ones there that's usually where i keep them anyways put those out go ahead and extend the legs hold in the panels hold the toes rotate at the waist split the legs bring the mandibles down open up these sections here and go ahead and give him his weapon. Now, I believe it's 115 Utopia is making toy accurate weapons and the spears, or the spear and the axe, or the sword and the axe. I know one of them had something like that uh, for these guys, so keep an eye out for that. I might get it, just depending on where I can get it. Most likely going to be eBay. But yeah, that does for these. And of course, our third out of four Insecticons. Now, I don't know if I've done it before, but I think the original kickback, or don't kickback, Ransack had the wings pointing down, so that's kind of just what I'm doing here with this one. Just kind of give it its own look from kickback. But yeah, so there they are. They look great as a trio. Soon going to be a quartet. But yeah, overall these two, really like them. Uh, they do what they need to do, and... It's awesome to have more members of the uh, Mayhem Attack Squad. And of course, another wrecker for the shelf. Have them just running away. But yeah, 
Uh, if you haven't yet, check out my breakdown and windsweeper video. I also did a video on the non-F upgrade. Uh, that'll be in the most recent videos before this one. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to check out those links down below. And, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think of this set. Are you excited for Venom? Uh, what else are you looking forward to in the Prime line? As well as, uh, well, the time this video should be going up should be right about, or no, it will be, just day before the Hasbro panel for Transformers. So, let me know what you think down below of whatever they showed off. I'm probably going to be doing a stream that's the Saturday after this video goes up. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.